All right. Hello, everyone. Welcome back to the talent show where you will meet the people behind T-Tech. I'm Rebecca and I will be your host for today. As always, thank you for joining us if you come back every other week. And if you're here for the first time, welcome. We are excited to have you. We're going to have a great conversation today and you won't want to miss a minute because you're going to be learning from very different people about very different experiences about how they support and become allies to the neurodiversity community. Community. But before we get into today's conversation, as you know, especially if you've been tuning in, we just love to learn where you're from and more about you. So if you would drop in the chat where you're joining us from today, wherever it may be around the globe, we would love to hear from you. Tell us if you're eating lunch, ending your workday, or sneaking this in uh, during the, the workday. We're just happy that you are here. So while we're waiting for to learn from you, I just wanted to share with you that in, in my career, I've always looked for employers that align with my values. And evidently, I'm not alone in that because according to a recent survey from Qualtrics of US employees, 54% of employees would be willing to take a pay cut to work at a company where they align with their values. So today I wanted to talk a little bit about Seek First to Understand as it ties in with the conversation we'll be having with our guests. Seek First to Understand is one of our values here at T-Tech. And as we've partnered with our employee resource group, T-Tech Minds, this month to shine a spotlight on the neurodiversity community, I have to say that my, I, my mind is awake and I am wide open to all of the ways that I can become really a better colleague, marketer, communicator, and ultimately human. Um, and it's because of so many of the conversations I've had throughout the month with members of T-Tech Minds. So we know you're going to take away some great things today that sure will, will help you become a better ally in the neurodiverse community. And I think it just extends out into all the different ways that we lead our lives. So before we get started, hello, Vikash in Ahmedabad. Nice to see you. Maribel, oh, hola, in Madrid, España. So great to see you today. We've got North Carolina in the house with Mink Young. Mario, Madagascar. Oh my gosh, everyone, I told you, it's a very global audience. And then we've got uh, Poland. We've got Anderson, South Carolina. My sister just moved to South Carolina, Carissa. So uh, I think she's loving it there. So everyone, thank you so much for joining us. And again, we know you're going to really enjoy today's conversation as we meet with a few different team members who are going to really share their family and their coworker journey and perspective and how they've become better allies through uh, their support of T-Tech Minds. So let's meet. All right, everyone, let's meet Tim Swearingen. He is an omni-channel product manager here at T-Tech. He has been here for over 14 years, started as a part-time associate, and I think Tim's uh, touched almost every aspect of the business from learning and development through research and development into his role today. And then we also have Jen Porlis. She's joining us from the Philippines. She is an analyst. She also started as an associate. And within her first year, she was able to purchase a home. Now, both Jen and Tim are avid photographers, so we could probably have another session about photography. Uh, but today, we'll keep it focused on neurodiversity. Um, and then, of course, we have Lauren Smith. She is our human capital director here in the United States. So everyone, let's meet. Hey, Tim. Hey, Hello. Rebecca. Hello. Thank you for having me. And, oh, did we lose Jen? We lost Jen, but she'll be back. <laughs> so how are you guys doing today? Are you ready for a great conversation about how to be an ally? Yes. Yeah, absolutely. All right, great. Well, Tim um, and Lauren, let's just start kind of first things first. Can you share a little bit more about your journey with the neurodiverse community and why was it important to you to join a group like T-Tech Minds? Tim, if you wanna take the lead. Yeah, sure. So my younger brother um, has some very special needs and it 
my journey with him changed my perspective of how I interface with people who have special needs. So I'm, I'm super excited that we've embraced this ERG here at T-Tech and we have an opportunity so that people like my brother can be in an environment that where he's normal, he's not looked at as different. His, his diversity is embraced and loved and celebrated and people are seeking to understand him and how, and the great things that he can bring to uh, the communities that he's in. So he really inspired me to get involved so that I can share what I've learned through my personal journey with him in the workplace as I lead team members here and as I'm um, led by other team members. We are all stronger when we're together and when we are able to take each other's strengths and talents. Thank you, Tim. Lauren? Yeah, um, it was important for me to join T-Tech Minds because Diversity is such an integral part of who we are at T-Tech and helping foster an inclusive and supportive environment is something that's extremely important to me personally. Being aware that a significant percentage of the global population is either part of the neurodiverse community or is close to someone who is, education and representation around the topic becomes incredibly important. So I'm really excited and honored to be part of T-Tech Minds because I want to not only help others increase their understanding of neurodiversity and embrace individual differences, but hopefully to also empower others who are neurodiverse, feel comfortable living authentically and really flourish knowing that they're not only accepted, but celebrated. Lauren and Tim, thank you for that. And having uh, knowing both of you, I know that you really, there is so much passion behind that and that you really embody what you're talking about today. And look at everybody, we've got Jen back. <laughs> Hi Jen, how are you? Sorry, yeah, sorry about that. <laughs> Hey, no worries. We all know internet connections can Yes. <laughs> so we're, we're glad you're here. And Jen, you're joining us uh, from the Philippines today. Yes. Um, and we were just talking about why, uh, sharing a little bit about your journey and why becoming a part of T-Tech Minds was important to you. Um, when I first invited to join, I really don't have any idea on what it's gonna be and then later on but i'm curious because um i have two nephews who were diagnosed with um, adhd and i want to learn more about neurodiversity um um the extent how how um how can i better understand or help my nephews to you know cope up with their environment because here in the Philippines, it's not the same um, in the U.S. with regards to acceptance. Here, if you have this kind of uh, condition, um, children, mm -hmm. most likely they were treated as um, different or um, as we call it, abnormal. So, but yeah, we changed the, how we call them, we call them special already. So it's uh, personal, it's something personal for me uh, because I want to help my nephews. I'm actually worried um, how, how they're going to cope, what will be their future. Those are the questions that I have when, when, uh, when I was told that, yeah, they have ADHD and I'm really, I really wanted to help them both because I know it's not easy because during college, um, I was exposed to this kind of, um, condition, um, children's with special, um, uh, considered as special and yeah, it's not easy. So I know how it feels and, um, I just wanted to learn more and um, to better help them, actually. That's why I, I joined um, T-Tech Minds. Jen, I think that leads beautifully into my next question for Tim. Obviously, each guest here today either has family members or want to be a part of influencing for the greater good. So that kind of cues up, why is it important to have a group like T-Tech Minds uh, here at T-Tech or just really with any other company? Yeah, so it's... 
You know, understanding that T-Tech is this very large place. Like anyone who's worked here any length of time, you probably have your employee number memorized because there's so much we have to do. But as people, we're all bigger than a number. So whenever we have people in a community as large as we do, ERGs like this can connect employees of similar ethnicities, sexual orientations, face, disabilities, generations, and it these types of affinity groups that come, can come together, create a safe space, they enhance employee well-being, it fosters a more inclusive workplace. And, and frankly, it lets people know that they're more than just a number, that maybe they didn't realize that there was a safe space that they could go to, to understand more about this and be celebrated. You know, Jen's story really resonates with me because that's the type of safe space that we want to have here at T-Tech as we act as one, right? Another one of our core values. So these ERGs being led by employees, I find are so much more effective at connecting those communities than simply a top-down leadership-driven initiative. It's us coming together as a community and making this happen, not just our leaders putting lip service on a core value that's posted on a website. Yeah, Tim, I think that's that's a big lesson that I've learned throughout this month is all the volunteers who have come on our various live events or put things on behind the scenes uh, to really help impact all of us uh, globally. And Krista did have a comment in the chat that it's, um, un it's really interesting to, to look at what other countries' perspectives are as well and that their future can be bright. So I think that's a, a wonderful message uh, from Krista. Thank you for, for that. And Lauren, I think that um, leads into a question first before we get to you with our audience. Uh, we talk a lot about the superpowers of the neurodiversity community. So if you're a part of the community, what is your superpower? We want to celebrate that here today. Or if you have a family member that you want to celebrate like Jen and Tim, uh, please drop in the chat and let us know so we can all learn more about the su superpowers uh, that are out there globally. So Lauren, you're our HC leader, right? So you're human resources, human capital, whatever people may call it around the world. You are the people person and the people leader. So can you tell us a little bit more about how being a part of T-Tech Minds has impacted you personally and professionally? Yeah, absolutely. So being approachable and creating a safe space for others is something that's, of course, important to me in my role, um, but also just in my life generally. Um, but I know that true inclusion isn't something that happens by accident. It has to happen through intentional action. So there are so many different small changes that we can make day to day to be more inclusive. And increasing our understanding through ERGs like T-Tech Minds is one of the first steps to support that. So being a part of T-Tech Minds has helped better equip me, um, and hopefully through that, I can better help better equip and empower others to lead with empathy and compassion and acceptance first, and to be as inclusive as possible. And not only is this going to be the best thing for our employees, but also for the customers, communities, and partners that we serve and that we work with every day. Yeah, quite the ripple effect, right, Lauren? It's not just each of us as individuals, but the people that we interact with, whether they're customers, clients, uh, our you know, community partners, whatever it may be that we we really, I talk a lot, like imagine if we were all just 10% more empathetic, 10% more compassionate, just take that little bit, like that ripple effect that we could have around the world. So thank you for all that you're doing uh, with T-Tech Minds. And Sharon Hamilton in the chat also shared with us, uh, similar to what Tim and Lauren were talking about, the importance of a safe space um, that provides a positive, productive environment. So really nurturing that safe space where people can be um, their, their true selves is, is really great. And that, Jen, I'm so glad that you're here because I think this uh, next question about how you've been able to take your learnings from your personal life with your nephew and translate mm -hmm. that into the workplace. What are maybe a couple pieces of advice that you have for how we can all be better um, allies in the workplace? Uh, for me, because before, um, I worried too much for my nephews. What's going to be? Are they Will they be able to work? And with T-Tech Minds, 
actually I uh, having a better understanding that there are also other um, employees of TTEC who has ADHD, they have mild autism, but they are working. So it's like I don't have to worry too much because I know that there is TTEC if um, comes a time that they want to work here um, they will be accepted so yeah there is a, uh, a safe place for them um, they can actually thrive and you know be successful as also here in TTEC and um, the worries that I have it's actually lessened um, when I joined TTEC Minds and I've learned a lot from this uh, group and uh, the sharing of all the members, um, you will uh, actually amaze because others, they also have kids and, uh, you know, sharing information to others and then learning from them is really a big thing. So it's supporting one another. So actually, that's that's it for me. <laughs> Jen, I think that piece about sharing stories really resonates with a lot of people that no one has to feel alone or like their circumstance is unusual. While everyone may have a unique situation, the more that we're open to talk about it and upcoming here in May will be Mental Health Awareness Month. And I think that's just a message that we can all get you know behind regardless. Like you never know what someone's going through and how you can be a part of lifting um, them up as well. You guys, it's been such an amazing conversation. We are almost at the end of time, but I want to ask each of you one more uh, set of advice for everyone. Uh, starting, Tim, we'll start with you. What is your that kind of like final takeaway that each person, when they get off this meeting and they go back to their busy lives, what's one thing or two things that you think they can take away and implement to support the neurodiverse community? I think it's uh, be open, be willing. In in so much of our world, it's we are, you know even in our workplace, there's so much we're all remote from each other. So being willing to reach out across that camera and make that personal connection with someone, and try to understand their perspective, it helps us grow as a person. My experience with my brother helped me grow as a man, and that helped me better understand how I can lead the teams that I lead who are in different parts of the world. We're very spread out from each other. So having conversations about how everyone's weekend was and being open and engaged in people's, you know, struggles with the family life and making it okay for them to have a life happens moment and the team rally around them and make it okay for them to be away when they need to. That's the that's been the biggest benefit in in my team here at TTEC. And that's I've benefited from that as an employee in my 14 years here at TTEC with um, team members and leaders who were very understanding of me when I had challenges that I needed to deal with. Yeah, Tim, I, I, I'll, I love to when we were talking earlier that you have to say to some of your team members, go home, uh, because they could keep working and working and working. And so you recognize that, you know, that as a leader, uh, you're supportive of helping them know when it's time to like, let the day go. Yeah. <laughs> we're, we're bigger than just the work we do. Yes, that's great. Lauren, how about you? What are what are some pieces of advice that everyone can take away and apply in their own lives today? Um, for me, it's just remembering, like we talked about the ripple effect, that diversity and inclusion and positive changes, they can happen through small individual changes um, through each and every one of us. So my best advice is to lead with empathy, lead with compassion, um, and consistently be working to increase our understanding so that we are able to um, one by one, create a better environment for all of us. Everyone, I told you at the top of the call, I've been very inspired by these guests here today. And I think you can uh, hear why, especially what, what Lauren was just sharing with us. Real quick, before we go over to you, Jen, we've got some great comments. Um, we have, uh, oh gosh, sorry, Steve Miller, or Steve Miller was sharing um, 
different ways that he can connect downstream, especially in a remote environment, and how he's been able to help play <clears throat> everyone's strengths. So that is uh, some really valuable advice as well, Steve. Thanks for sharing in the comments. And Jen, we'll go over to you to close us up here for this first part of our segment. We're going to be talking about hot jobs in a minute, everyone, and how you too can come be a part of the tech family. Uh, but Jen, what is some advice that you'd like to leave us all with today? Um, this is based on experience. Um, avoid, be more open-minded and avoid being judgmental because previously I didn't know that one of my co-workers has ADHD and I'm super annoy annoyed with him all the time but then one time he told me that he has ADHD that's why he's acting like that and he cannot control it and um, so that's when I realized that yeah, not all people, um, even if they, uh, you see them, they act like this, they are all not the same, or they may have this um, condition, but they are just not ready to share what they are going through. So just be more open-minded and um, avoid um, being judgmental. Excellent. I think everyone will have at least one to two things that they can do to take away um, in their own lives. And again, Tim, Jen, Lauren, thank you all for your time today, for your spirit. <laughs> it's contagious. <Anytime. laughs> um, any last words or shall we just say uh, see you in a minute as we talk about the jobs? Nothing for me. All right. Okay. Good. Thank you. Well, good. Thank, thank you. you. Thank you all for, for being here. I hope everyone has been able to take away some things that you can implement in your life today and sharing the and celebrating the superpowers that we all have individually. If you'd like to learn more about working at T-Tech, well, you're in the right place. Uh, today, we've got a couple hot jobs that we're featuring. And of course, these are just two of many jobs that we have globally. So please head to ttechjobs.com and search for what's available that you might be looking for in your niche and in your neck of the woods. Our job highlights today one, are both happen to be in the U.S. One is for a customer service representative. This, everyone, calling all fashionistas. This is working for a luxury retail. So if you like to go to the mall and you like high fashion, maybe you just like to be a voyeur and watch it. This is your opportunity to become a part of a brand as a customer service representative. And then we also have here in the U.S. a principal recruiter position that we are recruiting for where it is remote and it is supporting our professional and enterprise recruiters. I happen to work closely with this team, so I have to admit I chose this job because I know that this is a great opportunity for all you recruiters out there to join an amazing team with a great leader. So check out all of our jobs at ttechjobs.com and see if there's something that works for you. So everyone, that's a wrap for today's conversation. Once again, thank you to Tim, Lauren, and Jen for joining us around the world for today's conversation, sharing their very personal journeys with us and how they impact allyship. Also want to say a special thank you to you for joining us today. We know your time is valuable and we're happy that you're here. Have you missed a recent T-Tech talent show episode? Don't worry if you go and you become subscribed to our T-Tech profile on LinkedIn, you'll never miss an episode from there. So again, thank you all for joining us today. I hope that you lead with more of an open mind, seeking first to understand and bringing that 10% more empathy to our world. Thanks again, everyone for being here. We'll see you next time.